your man Rock Cobain, the Cobain Report. We are live here. Larry Callahan has selected the dots. Live recording located here in Triumph Church in the east side of Detroit. I am looking forward to a great evening tonight. I'm looking forward to the band. Looking forward to hear Larry with his new innovative sound. They said that Larry has done this project by himself. I am so proud of him. I'm going to go in and I'm going to keep coming back to you with some guests. I'm going to go snag some people, all right? So stay tuned and we're going to get this night going, all right? See you later. Man, Rock Cobain, the Cobain Report. We are live here at Larry Callahan's live recording here at Triumph Church in Detroit, Michigan. I have with me Larry's son. What's up, babe, bro? How you doing? How, did, how does this night make you feel, man? Gary, I'm so proud of my dad. A lot of accomplishments he uh, is achieving. Yeah. Some of uh, this is first um, thing by itself. Yeah. Everything produced, everything. Oh, good. So you watched him work hard for this. Tell your dad how much this means to watch your daddy succeed in front of you. You know, being a father myself, man, it's a good thing when your kids watch you and give you accolades. Talk to your daddy. Tell him how proud of him you are, man. Man, I'm so proud of you, dog. All the accomplishments you uh showing me, I could do it. So I'm just pr proud more than words can even say. What's your favorite song you ain't for tonight? I put you on the spot. <laughs> You want them all? You just ready for them all? You think, what about the band? What you think gonna happen tonight? It's cold. They cold. They gonna go. They, they cold. cold. You know I'm about to let your son go out here and be a Hollywood. I look at it. Look at him. Look at him. You know that's your son because you know he's fresh, right? Okay. So we about to go on in here, Larry, so we can enjoy the service. Just uh, tell you, tell you, daddy, how much he means to you. My dog. I love you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. All right, done deal. We love you, Larry. We out. <laughs> It's your man Rod Cobain with the Cobain Report. We are live here from Selected of God and Larry Callahan's live recording here on the east side of Triumph Church. I have with me Larry Callahan's own baby girl. What's up, sister? Hey, how you doing? Oh, what you looking forward to from your dad tonight? Just a new sound. A new sound. He's growing and this is on. This is just him. Yeah. Tell him how proud of him you are of all his hard work. I'm very proud of my daddy. I love you, Rary. 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 Get out my nerves. What song do you look at here tonight? What's your favorite one? Mm. Ooh, I might be able to get one. I like all of them. I can't. I give up. I'm not asking nobody else about the music tonight because can't nobody give me a straight ass. I can't choose because they all sound so good. They yeah. all sound so different. Yeah. So I, I love them all. Do you think he, he you seen him work a little bit harder this time being that he did it all himself? Yeah, I, I truly believe that, but he's a magician. Everybody knows that Larry Callahan is going to get a sound he wants to get. Yeah. So. Sure, he's a perfectionist for sure. He's been since I was little, so I'm proud to see you growing up. I'm pretty sure he is too. Larry, we love you. The music is started. I'm about to let her go because she's fashionably late. <laughs> Guess where she got that from? Anyway, we love you, Larry. I love you, Melissa.
man, Rock Cobain. We are live here at Larry Callahan and Selected of Guys live recording. I have with me First Lady Callahan, the one and only First Lady Callahan. Ooh, oh my, am I messy? I mean, <laughs> you really gave it up, didn't you? <laughs> And all that now, nah, y'all. All right. So, talk to me about this tonight. Talk to me about as a family, as his helpmate, as whatever, right? His friend, first and foremost, for a lot of years. A lot of years. Talk, talk to me about. I, I I remember being nine, and y'all was sick. like I remember being like eight, nine on the drums, looking over, and y'all had and y'all we was all at Bishop Foster Church. I know, I know. I've been knowing Larry since I was fourteen years old. Uh, I met him in high school. So he's my best friend first, and then, you know. The rest of it come along with it, yeah, you know. I'll leave that story. You know, we watch movies and stuff together. You know how I go, whatever. But talk to me about tonight, all the work that you guys have done, all the sacrifice. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I think, I think um, when I talked to him this morning when he was running out and about, I just told him that all of his disappointments, all of the hurt, all of the victories, all of everything led him to this moment. Because Larry is such a giving person. He always wants to, you know, look out for other people. And a lot of other people have really, you know, done great things because they've been with him um, and benefited from being with him. And I thought that it was really great that it's time for him to benefit from his own good name. Um, I always tell my kids that um, we get to have somebody who has a good name. You know what I mean? We get to... You know, cause I, my, he don't ain't no scandals. You know what I'm saying? We so, both said the same time. Yeah, know, we got. Yeah, we got a. He got a good name, and so I'm just happy to see him because he's a good person. He don't mean nobody don't harm. Nope. If he can't help you, he not gonna harm you. So that's why I think good things happen to good people. I believe. So what I believe is that he's taking this step, right, to be able to do it on your own and not be. It's a little fearful. Oh, for sure. so a little scary because you're wondering if they go, you know, but Detroit love Larry. Yeah. We love Larry Callahan. Larry is going to be authentic. He's going to be himself. He's going to be your, that is my brother. Yeah. I don't care what's going on in this lifetime. He could be over the moon. I'm going to be right. Larry Callahan is my brother in for front sure. of the world. You know what I mean? Your what? grandfather had a, a big part in this, all this stuff, and you know it just like I know it. All of this stuff your grandfather spoke years ago. Um, Larry loved Bishop Eli, Eli Nero. He loved him and uh, he served him all the way up until he left here. He loved him deeply. And all of these things that we're able to see, even from like the commercials, all of that stuff, Bishop prophesied to Larry years ago. So really, we are living out words of our fathers that, you know, came up and raised us up, you know, before. So we just really walking it out, really. Yeah, no, Larry, I believe you and Larry are called for this assignment. You're called to the people that you're called to. That's why your church still follow y'all. That's why they still pass the Callahan and First Lady. That's why I'm still past the First Cal Because at the end of the day, you guys walk in that anointing. It's the, the crazy part is together, Y'all have done so much. Yeah. I'm talking about conquered so much as a union. Yeah, for sure. Talk to your husband. Tell him how much you love him and how much you are proud of him. I have said this 512 million times. 5 million, 12, 13 right I now. Literally <laughs> over the last few days, even the last few months, that I am exceedingly proud of you. I am 100% in your corner. I don't think that there's anyone more deserving of this moment than you. And I am going to be here pushing you, pulling you, being right by your side every single step of the way. I got you. And I am so proud of you. I love you with everything that I am, everything that I have. I am so proud of you, husband. Keep on doing what God called you to do. And I guarantee you, you will see everything that God said that he would do. I mean, I'm just looking forward to it. When she said, I got you, I felt that like it was the preacher saying it. Because listen, I felt that thing. She really got your nappy head bot. Larry, we love you. I love you. Your wife loves you, bro. I love, you. I love him so. And I'm about to go find you now. <laughs> This is Rod Cobain. I am live here with the 
Larry Callahan of Selective. Wait, you're not of, because it's your group. So he David Ruffin and them they his temptations. What up? <laughs> Bro, talk to me about tonight. What does this mean to you? Man, this means so much to me. Uh, this is my first time having complete control over a project. Uh, I produced this whole thing. Uh, I created everything how I wanted it to sound, how I wanted it to look. And I just hope it was a great presentation to people. I hope people really enjoyed it, man. Oh, bro, we love this night. I'm, a t I'm talking about from the hymns to the church to the, like, contemporary sound. Like, bro, you mastered the whole joint this time, bro. Yeah, I just wanted something that uh, felt like Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? 7645 Harper, baby. It, listen, when they hit the hymn and it felt like uh, we was going down to uh, Craig Brothers Church. That's right. <laughs> and I, and, and that's, that's the thing because church would never uh, lose. You know what I'm saying? Church always wins, so... I just wanted people to have a church experience tonight. So, no, bro, you did it. I am so proud of you. The city is proud of you. Bro, how much hard work did you put in? They talked about the 12-hour long choir rehearsals, the eight-hour rehearsals. Talk to me about all of that because they get to leave after that. You still working with the band and doing the yeah, thing? Yeah, uh, after the nine-hour rehearsals and 10-hour rehearsals, I'm still there with musicians creating. I'm still there sitting. So it's like almost a 20-hour day for me and still have to go to a nine-to-five in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to 9 to 5. You know, right, because I'm going to need my every two weeks. Yeah, I need that every two weeks. And I need that blue and white card, too. That blue cross, blue shirt. So that way you get that shirt. Yeah, that blue cross, blue that shirt. That shirt. Yeah, because yeah. you're not, you're not going to have no GoFundMe burying me. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I'm about to kick you off my body. You're going to buy the right type of casket for me because you're going to be able to. Hey, hey, he's so arrogant. His casket going to say, selected of God. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> bro, all right, my last question before I let you go, because yeah, I know you're tired. Bro, hurry, we all tired. Hurry, Listen, hurry up, hurry up. how did you pick the writers for this album? Uh, I mean, I really prayed about it. Uh, and a lot of the writing, uh, a couple of writers uh, got submitted a song. I know they're church, church grown. And a lot, of, a lot of other stuff that I rearranged and, you know, from hymns and stuff like that. So, I mean, I heard it. I went after it, and it came out like this. So when an, when we working on the next one? I don't know. You see that? That's pressure right there. Look at his face. I don't know. I just I just got done tonight, bro. Tomorrow starts the next album. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I love you so much. Thank you, dude. I, love you. I am so proud of you. I am godly proud of your family is, your wife. I got interviews from everybody. So we about to wrap this up because I'm tired. He tired. As I always say, it's a wreck. I'm a... I'm a...